Minecraft's breeding is really unrealistic. Everyone knows that to breed, you need a nice environment, some candles, and some smooth jazz playing. But that's not where I'm going with this video. In real life, inbred kids are messed up, which is probably why the queen looked like that. But in Minecraft, you can breed everyone in a family together, and every member of that family will be fine. So today, I'm going to make Minecraft a bit more realistic and add the consequences of inbreeding. I'll start on a positive note and add dogs and dog breeding. To get a dog, you can breed two wolves together and then breed the offspring with one of the parents. The result will be an inbred wolf with dog ears and dog colored fur. And you can keep going until you have lots of dogs with different fur patterns and ear shapes. You can breed dogs together with this new tennis ball to mix up their appearances. And you can get a that shunned by stretching a regular dog out with two sticky pistons. Although if you accidentally stretch it the other way, this will happen. You can also breed your dogs to have shorter and shorter legs until they start looking like pugs. And you can even breed them into having no front legs at all. Walking a dog like this is kind of a drag but they will eventually learn how to walk on just two feet. New Minecraft mobs are supposed to have features, so I'm letting you play fetch with your dogs. I didn't just stop at these dogs though. Cows now spawn with two to four udders that dangle around with real physics. A cow with two udders will only fill up your bucket slightly, but a cow with four udders will give a full bucket of milk. You can breed two four uttered cows together to create a cow with eight udders, which will overflow your bucket with milk. And milking this cow with 64 udders instantly fills up your entire inventory with milk. Which means you'll be dripping milk everywhere you walk. You'll have to jump into the ocean to rinse off all that milk, but while you're at it, you might as well check out this new fish breeding feature I added. You can now breed them with bread to make fish eggs, which you can mine and throw to make baby fish. The fish you breed will start to crave the taste of bread, and they'll evolve much bigger and wider mouths so that they can eat more of it. This also lets them breathe on land and express their desire for bread. They'll flop over to your chests to take your bread, and you'll have to unalive them to get it back. This forces them to evolve to be faster so that they can run away from you. And since they understand the concept of limbs, they'll also evolve arms to hold more bread. Before you know it, they'll basically be humans, which is just like what happens in real life. And they'll conquer villages to take control of their wheat farms. If you don't like this feature, you can enable these giant birds to spawn and take care of your fish problem. I wish I could breed my subscribers to have infinite subscribers, but unfortunately I can't, so you're going to have to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you in my next one, where I'm letting you breed blocks together.